All right, y'all. Gonna hope everybody's having a good day. The phone's gonna keep blinking. There's a conversation going on with a group chat. This is a tutorial on how to file unemployment claim online through your mobile device. Could be Android. Uh, could be uh, Apple device. Um, so I'll get right into it. Lower this screen. Click my internet. <laughs> All right, so as you can see, I'm already inside. So what I'm gonna do is log off. And I'm actually gonna go to the home page, which is this top one right here, unemployment.ohio.gov. That's the website. Once you get to the website, the small green box left side center of the screen unemployment workers overview how to video find a job workers guide to unemployment filing your weekly claims so you just click on the file slash appeal benefit it automatically generates you to this page and this is where everyone uh, runs into issues because this page is for mobile devices, but what you want to do is disregard everything on the screen. But at the very bottom, you see full site processing center. So what you'll want to do is hold full site. Here you go, or tap it rather. I'm going to hold it to, to highlight full site. So that's what I'm going to push, the full site button. Mm -hmm. Once you click full site, it shows you the full site. And as you can see right here, you're able to log in. So uh, your login information, as you can see, SSN, which is social security number. And then the pin that you created. If you forgot, you can go to forgot pin. Um, so what I'm going to do is just pause this video while I log in. All right, so we're back. All I did was enter my information into the login, which was my social security number and my PIN. Once you enter that information, you hit submit, it brings you automatically to this screen. So this is where you do your filing at. Um, to file, you'll go to weekly claim right here, weekly claim. And as you can see, it's already dated today's date, well, yesterday's date rather, um, which is April 4th, 2020. So you click on April 4th, 2020, and these are the basic questions that they ask in order to file your unemployment. So first question, during the week filed, were you available to work? Yes, everyone should be available to work. During the week claimed, were you physically or mentally able to work? Yes, everyone should be mentally and physically able to work. That is filing unemployment. During the week claimed, did you complete two work search activities? This is generally what they want you to do um, when you file unemployment. They want you to apply for two jobs every week. Of course, we're going through a crisis right now, so there's minimum job availability. Um, you'll definitely want to hit yes for this box. And they want to know everything. So basically, two employers, they want to see you apply for two, employ two employment opportunities. Work search activity completed. This box, you'll put what job you applied for. Mm. Location. Of course, you'll determine what the location is. Um, here, I'm just going to put a general location. One, two, three. Main Street. Um, the city is going to be next. So we'll just go Youngstown. Ohio. And it's going to ask for zip code. 
four four five oh five all right so it says please select the mess the method that you use to complete your work search so generally when you do a work search you'll want to go to somewhere that you can apply for mass jobs with the same application so indeed is a great place to perform job searches um snag a job all those are pretty much um employment search engines uh, so however you did is the way you'll select we'll go in i'll go internet that's usually what i do um, if you apply for a position please list here so most jobs you just want to go with a entry level so it's basically a level at which you can enter the the uh, job it's not specific you don't want to do one specific job you want to do any any available job at an entry level what date did you complete this work search it's going to be previous days it's always previous days the week you file your unemployment every Sunday and the information is based off of the prior week information so we'll go with 4 4 20, 20. Uh, what was the outcome of the search if you got hired you go hired. if you were interviewed go interview not hired not hired um, activity stored on your backpack through the Ohio means jobs page or activity completed or unknown so we definitely completed the activity so you'll go with activity completed and it's going to ask for a second so go giant eagle again this is all just a brief tutorial nothing that I'm posting is facts I'm just going through this to show you how to apply um, so then you'll get a city Youngstown um, as far as job searching if your unemployment request that you perform job searching don't be alarmed if you didn't perform any just do it today do it online go through a search engine so that you don't have to keep putting in different information you know you got to put in information every different employer you apply for um, so let's see please select the method which you completed internet applied online if you apply for a position list the position again we'll go with entry level which is a basic um, job description. It's just saying that you want to start any available position that you could just walk in and be hired. What date did you complete this activity? Of course, you'll put whatever date it was. And it would also behoove you to apply today for jobs so that you have those already written down and magnet mag uh, you put on your refrigerator with a magnet so that when you go to file on Sunday the following Sunday you'll be able to just grab that paper off of the fridge and put your unemployment through very swiftly so it says what was the outcome of the work search to say they never called you back or you didn't hit call them or anything you don't know you can just go unknown so now we're going to so we're done with two job searches that's what two job searches would look like next is number four during the week claimed did you refuse work or a referral to work if you answer yes you're not going to get paid did you quit employment if you answer yes you're not going to get paid were you discharged, fired from unemployment? If you answer yes, they're going to want to know great details as to why you were fired. So during the week claim, did you apply for or was there a change in an amount of pension, 
or any other type of retirement payment. So, of course, you'll hit no. If you hit yes, they'll want to know how much so that they can calculate and make sure that you're getting the a, a nice even amount. Um, and let's see, number six. Did you receive or will you receive holiday pay for a holiday that occurred during the week claimed? So that's, we're following this for today, which is the fifth. And they are worried about events that happened the week prior. So did you work a holiday the week prior? There were no holidays, so no. Um, if yes, enter the total gross amount of the holiday pay. So that's when you'll put it in here. If you did work, uh, your candor is greatly appreciated. And if you lie, you will be penalized. Uh, so if you didn't do anything, you hit a zero or just leave it blank. Did you work full time or part time? Or were you self-employed during the week claim? If you worked, you should answer yes, even if you will be paid in another week. So if you worked last week, or excuse me, if you worked the week prior to the date that you are filing your unemployment, then you definitely want to hit yes. And question 7A says, if yes, enter the total gross amount earned during the week so the amount of money that you anticipate earning you'll want to put that there um, your candor is greatly appreciated if you lie you will be penalized uh, most of us didn't we most of us did not okay babies I'll be right there most people did not work the right week prior if you did definitely provide that information up front so they don't have to Catch it on the back end and uh, delay your payment. So you don't want your payment delayed. And whenever you hit no that you did not work the prior year, this notification automatically pops up and it says, Ohio Department of Job and Family Services, that's ODJFS, uses a variety of methods to detect unreported earnings. They're going to find out if any money has gone to your has. Uh, went through your social security number so they they definitely know so don't lie it says avoid the possibility a possibility of criminal prosecution penalties and future interruptions of benefits by reporting your earnings information honestly and accurately approximately nine out of ten claimants who fail to report earnings are detected and determined to have committed fraud nine out of ten people Lie on this question and get caught. So don't let it happen to you. If you perform work for the week prior to you filing, that's between Sunday and Saturday, you must report the gross earnings amount before taxes and deductions. Do not wait until the employer pays you. And then the absolute final question is, if you return to work full time during the week claimed, enter the return to work date. So there's where you will enter the date. And this is when you get the second notification that says congratulations on your return to work because you just um, highlighted a field that requests did you return to work. So it's basically saying congratulations on your return to work. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, we didn't return to work, so uh, we'll leave that blank for now. And that's it. That's all it is to it to file. When you click next, it'll show you a summary of everything. I encourage you to screenshot your summary because it reflects all of the answers that you provided. You see, I, I provided the Giant Eagle, 123 Main Street, Youngstown, Ohio. All of this is your record. And then it asks you a question, certification. I understand the answers I gave to the above questions may affect my rights to benefit payments. I certify that these statements are true and correct, and I'm not claiming any benefits from any other unemployment program for the above weeks. I understand the law provides penalties for false statements. And there's three boxes uh, circles to highlight uh, you must choose one 
So the first one says, I agree to all of the above and wish to submit my claim for processing. Second is, I wish to change one or more of my questions prior to submitting my claim for processing. Lastly, I do not agree and wish to cancel my claim. So, if you answered everything above honestly and accurately, go ahead and check the first box that you do agree to all of the above and wish to submit your claim for processing. If you see something wrong, click the second box and change it. If you don't feel comfortable with the information you provided, go ahead and put, I do not agree and wish to cancel my claim. Uh, so, this has been a tutorial on how to file your claim. Um, if you hit the first circle, which you agree to everything, and you click next, it'll take you to a screen with a confirmation number and some directions and guidance as to how to receive your payment or how to call and track your payment. You'll want to screenshot that confirmation number as well. And that is a basic tutorial on how to go about filing unemployment. All right, I hope this has been helpful. And I'm gonna submit this.